Spiders are my best friends. The guys at AgroGamer, not so much. I suspect that's why they called me up and they wanted me to review Kill It With Fire. That's what we're going to be doing today. I've played way too many hours of Kill It With Fire. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to tell you about this game, share some, ga share some game footage with you. And uh, yeah, I thought when these guys called me up and said, hey, Mr. Hargrave, we like what you do over there on your channel on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I thought when these guys called me up and said, hey, Mr. Hargrave, we like what you do over there on your channel on YouTube complaining about video games, using lots of swear words. Would you like to come over here and do that for us? I said, great, fuck yeah, of course I would. I thought we'd be reviewing some new games, you know, Resident Evil remake, stuff that would fit in with like what I'm doing, you know, 12 foot skeleton stuff, creepy shit. Uh, no, they're like, hey, you wanna play a VR game? Okay, yeah, fine. You know, I, I do like VR, uh, no problem. Let's play, let's play some VR. Sure, guys, whatever you want. All right, so it's developed by Tiny Build and uh, Casey Donnellan Games. Casey Donnellan Games, and Charm Games. A guy, it takes a lot of game companies to make a VR game, maybe all of them. And this is Kill It With Fire. That was all in the first 30 seconds. Then we're looking at the... Uh, bare Bones Game. You know, there's not much here. Um, you know, what is here is good but there's not a lot to it. You got a handful of missions. It's very linear. You just go through the game, starting off in an apartment. Is it my apartment? I don't know. They're going for like a kind of 50s, but futuristic vibe, which I dig. That's really cool. I like the 50s futuristic vibe that they got going on with the game where it's like, it it's kind of old timey and the music's kind of, dated and and then they got like new like technology that doesn't exist yet right so it's got a little it's like classic futuristic i don't know it's kind of it's kind of cool you got a lot of different a lot of different spider killing what you're gonna you're gonna kill a lot of spiders in this game like you're gonna kill a lot of spiders you're gonna kill some spiders then you're gonna kill some more spiders and then guess what you're going to kill more spiders. You're just going to kill spiders. So if you're really into killing spiders or maybe you got to get over some kind of phobia, this game is going to be great for you. I also think it's a good game for kids. You know, you want your kids playing some VR. Maybe you don't want people just shooting them in the face. Maybe you want them to shoot some spiders, which you get to do. You literally get to take a handgun and shoot spiders in the face. With a, I don't know if that's the message that you want to send. You know, very much uh, when I play this game, the thing that comes to my mind the most is that Simpsons episode where Homer gets a gun and he's using it for everything to like unlock doors and he's shooting refrigerators and stuff, just whatever he would do. Oh, you can't open that jar? Boom! You know, let me take care of it with my gun. Aren't guns great? I feel like that's what we're doing. It's a real scorched earth kind of policy right now. So I'm just setting the apartment on fire. Just living up to its name. Kill it with fire. Actually, it's funny. The flamethrower is one of the least efficient methods of killing the spiders. Shotgun working much better. Loving the shotgun, just shooting spiders, blasting spiders to pieces. Tell you what, if you hate spiders, this game is definitely for you. I mean, I, I, I'm a big fan of the dark, creepy stuff. I like all that kind of stuff, but yeah, I kill some spiders. No big deal. It was a refreshing change of pace. I found the uh, the six shooter to be pretty accurate. Now, other than killing spiders, you're gonna be looking for spiders. And sometimes the looking for spiders can kind of drag on for a long fucking time. And uh, I would prefer to be killing the spiders, but uh, you know, this game kind of runs a fine line between enjoyable, action game and tech demo physics demo where you're just throwing stuff around and having it break so what you got to do in every level is you have to find different mission objectives and you load those into your gauntlets and then you have like a list of things to do it's very much a job which i like i like my video games to be a chore so this is great uh but then sometimes it's literally a chore like empty out the refrigerator or scan these items. Um, they give you a job to do and then you gotta do that job. 
because that's what everything's leading up to. If you want to get 100% completion on this, you're going to have to do all the little side tasks that they give you as you go through this, in addition to uncovering spiders. And you become numb to it, like after a while. Like the first few times I found a spider, it was like, holy shit, there's a fucking spider in here. Kind of scared the crap out of me. I jumped back a little bit. I think I even got a couple jump scares in there. But then after a while, you're like, oh, fucking spider. I don't give a shit. Shoot it with your gun. You keep searching through the room. You're just trying to get your shit done. You know, it, it, it wears on after a while. This this part, I think that was the, when I opened the pizza box. I think I got scared. That was me. I go, oh, shit. There's a spider in that pizza box. come in here and just throw fucking mugs around you know not a lot of games just let you just destroy a fucking kitchen but you know kill it with fire you can get that you can get that if you ever just wanted to go in your kitchen and just break shit it's more like a danger room uh simulator than it is a spider killing simulator there's like some random spider killing going on but mostly you're just fucking up rooms is that what they call them danger room? panic rooms anger rooms i think it's called an anger room fucking anger room. All right, I'm moving on. All right, so that, oh, yeah, here's another chore. All right, so yeah, there's this other... So you, yeah, the typical level progression is you do a bit of... You do some odd jobs, you kill some spiders, you try to find all the collectibles, and then if you've done all your jobs, you can hit a special button and then activate like a spider horde mode where you get a whole bunch of spiders out and you kill them. And the whole goal of this... I'm gonna cut to the chase on this game, is if you do that for every level, then there is a special final level where you get to do really cool, I don't know, like a, like a horde mode. The end of the game, basically. You're not gonna see the end of the game unless you find all, do all of your odd jobs, activate all of the spider hordes, and, and win those challenges. That's what the game is, and I don't know. I didn't make it to the end. I played this game for, you know, three, four hours. I didn't make it to the end. So there's some content here. You know, if they charge a reasonable price for this, it's not a bad pickup. I've played better VR games. I've played worse VR games. Um, it all works fairly well. You know, everything functions. The controls are fine. You know, there's some random glitches. Some of that's my VR rig. Maybe my lighting's off. You know, I, I can't blame it on the game necessarily. There are definitely a few glitches in the game, but this is a little pre-release, so maybe some of those will be worked out by the time it gets to you. But, you know, if you're paying between $5 and $20 for this thing, I think it's I think it's a good price. If you're paying more than 20 bucks, I don't know, man. I hope you really like burning up fucking spiders and shit because this game, it's what you do. It's the whole point. It's just like spider murder. Uh, anyway, sometimes they'll tell you something that doesn't make no goddamn sense. Uh, usually what they want you to do is to destroy it. Um, I do a lot of that. did a lot of that during my playthrough, just destroying random things. Yeah, like I said, uh, blowing things up. This is one of the cooler things about Kill It With Fire is literally killing things with fire. When you figure out how to explode things, that's kind of the most fun part. I mean, that's probably why they named it Kill It With Fire because that's what you want to do. That's like the coolest thing. Getting the flamethrower, burning up the house. I haven't really done that in burning down the house. Um, I haven't really done that. <laughs> in other VR games. I haven't got to burn down a house. I haven't got to smash a bunch of shit randomly. I haven't got to throw Molotov cocktails and have fucking things explode. That was kind of cool. Uh, that's the coolest thing going on is when, the, you know, you just get to blow things up and things explode. There's exploding spiders and the fucking spiders explode and kill the other spiders and set shit on fire. And just, there's like a lot of chaos going on. And I, I haven't really seen that in other uh, in other video games. I mean, I'm extremely curious what else this developer is going to do. Maybe this game is like a start. I don't know. I didn't do my research because I suck at this. 
But like, if I did this better, I would be like, oh, these guys developed this and they're fucking working on this. But I don't know any of that shit. The aggro gamer just fucking tossed me this game out of the goddamn blue. And we're like, Mr. Hartgrave, play it, asshole. Upload the footage and we'll edit it together and steal all the credit from it and stick our fucking logo on it. Your logo right here, guys. Yeah, put it put it right there. Just like over my face. Like, fuck, fuck that. Just aggro gamer man face over my face. What the, what have I become? I used to be once a bright, promising YouTuber has fallen to the depths of doing videos on the aggro gamer site. Anyways, uh, yes, yeah, hear me, just you can set the whole fucking kitchen on fire, just set everything on fire, I mean, that's, that's what's fun, just fucking burning Nathan, the countryside, burning Nathan, my house, is it my house? What the fuck? Why am I burning my own house down? Anyways, uh, it's a great game, super fucking fun, when you're burning shit down, uh, the other shit, maybe not so much, but, uh, burning stuff, God damn, that's where it's at, man. So yeah, if you're like kind of a pyro, so I don't, I'm not really a pyro, I'm just getting into it. Maybe I am now. Maybe this game turned me into a fucking pyromaniac. Anything's possible. Anyway, shooting stuff, not as much fun. Speaking of blowing shit up. So in the gas station level, my, my favorite part of this, I mean, this is where I started feeling more like a character from Always Sunny when I made it to the gas station than anywhere else where I'm just wandering around with like a fucking magnum at this point, solving problems by shooting them, blowing shit up. Um, I, I don't know, man. I felt like Frank, right? From Always Sunny. I, I'm Frank too, but hi, good to meet you. I'm on the Agro Gamer website. What the fuck am I doing here? So they told me one of my goals was to shoot this tank. And so I take a shotgun, I blow the tank up. It, it creates like a mini atom bomb and like, the whole gas station explodes. And now I, it, we're, once where there was a wall, there's a wall no more. This was fucking cool. Like there is shit in this game that I haven't seen in other VR titles. And I don't know, it's worth picking up just to see the cool stuff like that. Like I said, a reasonable price. There's some stuff in this you don't do another. Is it a Resident Evil 4? Is it a Half-Life Alex? Will it change your life by playing it? Fuck no. No, it will not. Will it be a good time? Yeah. Will anybody else know what the fuck you're talking about? No. So maybe I guess have them watch this video. I don't know. Or maybe don't play it at all and just, you know, enjoy this experience. Whatever the fuck this is. I, I don't know what's going on. But uh, it's a good game. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... <laughs> Another thing you do is, as you go through the game, you kill spiders, duh, like this is all killing spiders, but uh, you have to kill so many spiders to progress to the next area. So you like, you kill five spiders, then you can open a door. So I, I don't know, is it a Metroidvania now? No, it's not a Metroidvania, but that's how you progress. You kill spiders and then doors open. If the door isn't opening, kill some more spiders. Sometimes you're looking around, you can't find the goddamn spider, and that sucks. That's what happened to me. That's why I didn't beat the game, um, because I couldn't find a spider. And goddamn it, I killed like 200 spiders at this point. I was done. Uh, some of the puzzles, my my old man brain couldn't figure out. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll throw it to my kids. I think my kids would love this shit. If you got kids. It's a good game for that. They're not shooting people in the face. They're shooting spiders. Probably, you know what? I got a daughter who actually has like a crazy fear of spiders. This might actually help her get over it. I'm not even fucking kidding. Like this could be some immersion therapy shit. I'm telling you, the start of this game, I was kind of wigged out. I was like, ooh, spiders. Ooh, oh my heavens. And then by the end, I'm like, spider, fuck you. Boom, shoot them. Just hit them with something. I have no fear left uh, when it comes to spiders now. Uh, just, 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 if I could swat him with my hand, I, I don't care. I was just like, I just need to do this checklist and get through this shit and get on to the next thing. Kind of rides the line between video game and chores. Is it a video game or is it chores? Chores or a video game? I don't know. You decide. Everything changed for me when I got the weed whacker. 
it turns out the best thing is it, the best way to kill a spider is it a shotgun no is it a handgun no is it a flamethrower fuck no it's a weed whacker the weed whacker is the most superior spider killing because it keeps them it keeps them away from you it doesn't run out of of ammunition you can you can uncover the spiders and kill them in one swift move the weed whacker changed everything really um once you get the weed whacker it's like then then the 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 challenge of killing the spiders is entirely gone these spiders i'm a spider killing machine spider killer spider killer doing whatever a crazy spider killer does walks around with the weed whacker tries to solve a stupid puzzle I'm gonna regret all of my decisions that I've made in this uh, review. Absolutely, when I see this edited together, I'm gonna be like, that guy's an asshole. All right, um, <laughs> let's... <laughs> Look, the weed whacker's fun is what I'm trying to say. I had a lot of fun with the weed, just weed whacking spiders. In fact, it was so fun, I'm gonna get a real weed whacker, I'm gonna go out in my backyard, I'm gonna weed whack some fucking spiders. Because that's a good time. I don't have spiders in my backyard. I don't live in Florida. Who the fuck would live in Florida? Is this what it's like living in Florida? Or Hawaii? I think Hawaii has big ass spiders. Do you got big ass spiders? Let me know down in the comments below. If you got big ass spiders. I, I don't know why I want to know. I'm not going to visit you. I have no interest in being around you. That's terrifying. Why do you live somewhere like that? Why do you live where there's a bunch of spiders? All right, um, move on here. So there's super simplistic puzzles. Like this is why I kind of say the game's more made for kids than adults. Because like you do things like, like yeah, you know, take lions and try to put them in order from you know smallest to biggest. There's like a code on a door, but the code is like being shown in really big uh, colorful numbers and colors on a computer and you could just grab the computer and bring it over to the wall where the, you punch the code in. Like none of this stuff is complicated except like I literally could not figure out the last puzzle in this. This is when I kind of gave up actually was in, in, in this area in the garden, the Chinese garden area, which I thought looks cool. The environments are cool. I especially liked kind of getting out of the buildings and getting into the world which is more fun. I'd like to see a more involved version of this. God, what is that zombie game I was playing? I've played other VR games where you have external, where you can where you can go walk around a neighborhood and actually go in buildings. I would like to see more of a open world version of this game. That could be really fun because I really did like the art style. I really did like the ambience that was created here. It was interesting. So... Taking it out of these confined levels would be, would be really cool. Being able to walk around, go into whichever buildings I wanted to. I would like to see a sequel. Look, I might say some shit about this game. I might not say it's my favorite game. But like I said, I'm very curious about what this developer does next. If they do a sequel to this game, I'm checking it out. I'm here. I'm there for it. Will I play this game again? Probably not. I'm probably done. But, you know, I got a good three, four hours out of it. Maybe... Like I said, I'll give it to my daughter, see if she enjoys it. Maybe helps her get over her spirit, fear of spiders. Maybe it scares the shit out of her. Maybe she hates her father. Maybe she disowns me, moves out. I don't know, but you know, we'll give it a shot. Oh my God. Okay. Um, there's another puzzle here where you literally have to like match the little tree with the big tree. I'm telling you, it's a game made for kids. I feel a little silly playing it because I know this game is made for kids, but What's also nice is I also don't feel that silly for playing it because it kind of rides a nice line. Maybe it's for teenagers. I, I don't know. And, you know, here I am, old as shit. I'm like, oh, this game for teenagers is actually right up my alley. That's weird. The humor of the game um, was great for me because I'm an idiot. So there's a lot of like toilet humor where you, you, you shoot toilets at one point. One of the goals is like destroy the toilets. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. 
or uh, opening outhouses and stuff. I, I don't know. There, there's some there's some real juvenile humor, but it's not like I don't know. It's it's kind of uh, you know the kind of shit I would have liked when I was a teenager. I guess you know I probably liked this game a lot more as a teenager. One guaranteed. Uh, the, the biggest thrill I would get in the game was finding the new weapons. So there's a, you, you don't have any weapons to start. You have to unlock them all. And at some point you find like these weapon crates. And what it really made me want was GoldenEye. I really want GoldenEye to come to VR. I know there's like a new remake of GoldenEye, but this got me fired up. Like I wanted to find a sniper rifle in this, in this briefcase. Um, I didn't get a sniper rifle. Spoilers. Uh, you're watching the footage now, so it's not like... But you, you can see how I was getting giddy. I'm like getting excited. It's a submachine gun. It's still pretty exciting, right? Submachine gun. It's not a sniper rifle, man, but it's a submachine gun. I'm going to go blast some spiders with a submachine. That's pretty cool. Then I had like a challenge related to this as well, where I had to shoot a bunch of spiders with a sub submachine gun. But yeah, I really want to shoot some people in the crotch. That's what I really want to do. I want to play some GoldenEye in VR, and I want to shoot those guys in the crotch. That's what I was thinking about while I was playing this is I was like, my God, a first person VR GoldenEye is what I need in my life. Because the graphics kind of took me back to that as well. When I'm playing this, it kind of brought me back to the Nintendo 64 era. Um, maybe if the graphics were hyper realistic on this, it would be a scarier game. There, there, was a, there was an attempt to make this game kind of uh, psychologically scary with the sounds the spiders make and the kind of horror sounds that you get when you uncover a spider. But like I said, it wears off. I don't know. For me, it just became kind of cheesy. It doesn't linger. It's not like phas uh, phasma uh, Phasmophoria? I guess what the fuck it... I don't know. There's some spooky goddamn VR games. This isn't one of them, okay? This is not one of them. This is a fun game. But uh, yeah, I want... I, I don't know why I'm talking about um, GoldenEye VR. It was fun to blow the hay bales up. You you get you get lots of interesting weapons. You get uh, explosives and stuff like that. But like I said, once you get the weed whacker, it's kind of all about weed whacker. But you know, times. This is what made me start thinking of Goldeneye. Was all the different cool weapons, and I remembered all the cool weapons from Goldeneye. And now I'm just I sound like a goddamn old man. I'm totally out of touch at this point. All right, I think we're gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, then, then I was in the office level, which uh, was was something else. There was a vacuum there. I couldn't blow out the candle on the cake. That was a goddamn travesty. And I don't know. Uh, here, here's that. Here's that puzzle. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a game for kids. The puzzles are not complicated. There's nothing here that's going to challenge you. It's a good time. Um, yeah, <laughs> I tried, I tried one, two, three, four, because that's the same code that I have on my luggage and that didn't work. But then I just went and I was like, well, how do you, I was ready to give up right here. And then I was like, let me go walk around for two seconds. I find the computer, the computer's literally flashing the code. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just go walk over with the computer and unlock the vault. Ultimately, this is where I got stuck. Uh, but I did check it out. This is the second, this is the last legit level in the game. So there are, oh God, I think it showed before this. Let me see how many levels there are in the game. Cause right before this level, it should have shown me the level select screen. There are eight proper levels and then there is a bonus level in the game. Uh, there's a whole bunch of weapons to unlock. Um, replayability, kind of. You can go through the levels again. You can hunt down batteries. You can pick up these batteries and those will give you more unlocks. Although none of the unlocks are really that thrilling for me as far as power-ups or whatever. I just kind of played the whole game just with the base set of stuff. Unlocking the different weapons was enough of a power-up. Really, the Weed Whacker was so OP. Uh, but there's there's some various kind of special effects you can add on to your uh, add on to your experience if you can track them down if you locate the little batteries complete all the challenges and then speaking of completing the challenges there is a final level that I do not I did not get to here but I did check it out um, I I had a fully unlocked version so I, I checked that version out and there was a final level and if you beat all of if you if you collect everything 100 percent then there is a final 
like kind of boss rush mode where there's uh, uh, extra spider killing opportunities for you. So I don't know. All in all, you can probably do everything in the game in, I don't know, between 10 and 15 hours. So if, if that kind of thing matters to you, that's why I'm saying, you know, around, you know, around $5 to 20 bucks, you're going to get about a dollar, dollar per hour of entertainment out of this thing. All right. That's it for me. I have no idea how to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, that I, I don't know what I hope anymore. I hope to be back on this channel is what I hope to be. And I hope you'll come back to this channel too. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, comment down below and stay angry motherfuckers. Is that how we do it? We're aggro gamer around here. We're fucking aggro, right? Is that who the hell am I talking to? Editor? You'll put in some, you'll put in like cool intros and outros and stuff. Make this good. We're trying to uh, entertain people around here because nobody actually has a VR headset. I'm literally the only one. It's PC VR. I didn't mention that. This is PC VR. This is not Oculus. I don't know if this is on Oculus. It might be. Kill it with fire. Check it out or don't. I don't give a shit. I'm ending this now. That's it. It's over.